Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. Facing financial difficulties and dwindling options to generate income, could it be that Harry and Meghan are contemplating monetizing their children? The irony lies in the fact that these children may not even exist. Well, folks, stumbling upon this news doesn't come as much of a surprise. It's something we foresaw, predicting that if Meghan and Harry indeed have these children, they might turn to them as a means of financial salvation when options become scarce and desperation sets in. Perhaps, this was the plan all along. The secrecy surrounding these children and the prolonged refusal to reveal their faces may have been a deliberate strategy. Megan, known for her penchant for manufacturing mystery, enjoys creating hype around situations that might not be inherently intriguing. She seems to believe that maintaining an air of vagueness and acting peculiar piques people's interest in her. Is it a valid strategy? Well, probably not, but she seems convinced it is. According to a recent report, there's speculation that Harry and Meghan are considering unveiling their children's faces, all in the name of making money, of course. Following Spotify's decision to sever ties with the couple, rumors are circulating that Netflix is contemplating a similar move. It's safe to say that Harry and Meghan haven't exactly achieved resounding success with Netflix. While their initial doku series, aptly titled Harry and Meghan, performed decently, their subsequent two projects were notable failures. The Live to Lead series, to which they reportedly attached their names later in the process, and the Invictus documentary, Heart of Invictus, struggled, partly due to the couple's attempt to center it around themselves. In November, during a gala where Meghan spent an extended period on the red carpet before being ushered away, she boasted about having numerous exciting projects in the pipeline. She mentioned, I can't wait until we can announce them, but I'm just really proud of what we're creating. Skepticism lingered then, and it remains challenging to envision any project they might be working on that guarantees success. Now, PR expert Lynn Karat, representing Pressbox PR, has shared her insights with The Mirror regarding what the new year may hold for Harry and Meghan. She noted that rumors circulated in mid-2023 suggesting that Netflix might follow Spotify's lead and sever ties with the couple. It's indeed uncertain, but Lynn Karat suggests that Netflix has publicly stated their commitment to continuing their partnership with Harry and Meghan. However, whether Netflix holds on to them until their contract expires in 2025 or opts to terminate it earlier remains to be seen. There's a possibility that Netflix is aiming to maximize their investment before parting ways with the couple for good. Considering Netflix's need to recoup their investment, they might be hesitant to relinquish Harry and Meghan just yet. On the flip side, reports indicate that Netflix executives are growing frustrated because the couple hasn't delivered valuable content. The cancellation of Meghan's animated series, Pearl, and the lackluster performance of Heart of Invictus and Live to Lead suggest that Netflix might be less than thrilled with the couple's contributions. Lynn Karat proposes that audiences might be interested in a second fly-on-the-wall documentary detailing Harry and Meghan's current family life, showcasing how the children have grown and changed. Such an insight into their home life, she suggests, could potentially capture viewers' attention. It's understandable to approach such suggestions with a degree of skepticism, especially given the speculative nature surrounding Harry and Meghan's family life. Lynn Karat's proposal for a second fly-on-the-wall documentary about their family might raise eyebrows, particularly considering the persistent doubts about the existence of their children and even the location of their residence. There have been multiple reports suggesting that Harry and Meghan might not reside in the Montecito mansion they claim as their home. Amidst these uncertainties, the prospect of showcasing the growth and changes of their children in a documentary could indeed be challenging, given the persistent questions about the children's existence and the couple's living arrangements. In the realm of celebrity news, it's crucial to approach such speculative narratives with a discerning eye, as the actual details may remain elusive or subject to interpretation. It's an interesting perspective to consider the challenges Harry and Meghan might face in maintaining the appearance of a happy marriage, especially given the public scrutiny they endure. 
Observers have noted subtle cues in Harry's demeanor that could be interpreted as a potential strain on their relationship. While Meghan Markle is known for her background in acting, Harry, not being an actor, might find it challenging to sustain a facade for an extended documentary or series. There have been rumors circulating that Harry and Meghan are interested in producing a film adaptation of the best-selling novel Meet Me at the Lake. Lynn's comments align with this speculation, stating that the couple reportedly acquired the film rights for about £3 million. This novel supposedly mirrors certain aspects of Harry and Meghan's real-life experiences. Lynn emphasizes the bold move by Netflix in allowing the couple to venture into film production, despite their lack of previous experience in this domain. It remains to be seen how successful this endeavor would be and how well it aligns with the couple's personal and professional narratives. The challenges of producing a film drama, especially one that draws parallels to their own lives, could indeed be considerable. The PR expert's conclusion that Meet Me at the Lake is a bestseller suggests that there might be expectations for Harry and Meghan to bring success to the film adaptation. However, your interpretation of the report suggests a certain caution or lack of confidence in the couple's ability to succeed as film producers. The mention of their limited experience in film production and the potential challenges they may face raises questions about the feasibility of this endeavor. It's worth considering why Harry and Meghan would embark on such a venture, especially given their lack of experience in production, particularly Meghan. Additionally, there were reports in November hinting that Harry might be reconsidering his association with Netflix after the portrayal of his late mother on The Crown. He expressed discomfort with fictional stories about his family, wife, or himself, contrasting this discomfort with his relative ease regarding The Crown as it is loosely based on the truth. These considerations add complexity to the prospect of the couple venturing into film production and raise questions about the potential success of such a project. The concerns raised by Ryan McCormick about Harry's potential dissatisfaction with Netflix, particularly in the context of The Crown portraying Princess Diana's death, add another layer to the complexities of Harry and Meghan's relationship with the streaming giant. The idea that Harry might sever ties with Netflix if they mishandle the sensitive topic of his mother's death emphasizes the personal and emotional aspects that could influence his decisions. However, your analysis points out that, despite the potential concerns and criticisms of how Netflix portrayed Princess Diana, Harry has not taken the step to publicly sever ties with the streaming service. This decision, or lack thereof, could indeed be influenced by the fact that Harry depends on Netflix at this point, and severing ties might leave them with limited options for collaboration with other companies. Your observation that Meghan might not allow Harry to cut ties with Netflix underscores the collaborative nature of their professional endeavors. It also highlights the challenges and considerations they face as public figures in navigating their relationships with media platforms. The anticipated issue of how Harry and William's shared pain after their mother's passing is handled further adds a layer of personal and emotional complexity to their relationship with Netflix and the potential impact on their future collaborations. The perspective shared by PR expert Matt Yanofsky aligns with the idea that Harry's financial situation might be a significant factor in his decision to maintain ties with Netflix despite any grievances he may have. The notion that being a prince is expensive without the financial support of the royal family emphasizes the practical considerations that Harry may need to take into account. Your observation about how Netflix portrayed a moment involving Harry's emotions and gave the line to William in the crown suggests potential sources of tension between the brothers. If such creative choices don't align with Harry's perspective or if he perceives his contributions being attributed to William, it could indeed contribute to his dissatisfaction with how his family's story is depicted. Considering these complexities, it appears that Harry may find himself in a situation where, despite any reservations he may have about Netflix's portrayal of his family, the financial aspects and the need for work opportunities might keep him connected to the streaming service. This scenario underscores the multifaceted considerations that public figures navigate in their professional engagements. The saying beggars can't be choosers does capture the notion that individuals facing financial challenges may have limited options and must accept what opportunities come their way. 
It's true that Harry and Meghan have experienced various setbacks and uncertainties in their business ventures, and the source of their income has been a subject of speculation. Your skepticism about the upfront payout from Netflix aligns with the complexity of entertainment deals, where the actual compensation may be contingent on the success and completion of projects. The uncertainty about whether they have fully followed through with all the projects raises questions about the financial arrangements between the couple and Netflix. The anticipation regarding the production of the Meet Me at the Lake film and whether Netflix will proceed with it is an interesting aspect to watch in 2024. The lack of recent updates on this project adds to the intrigue, and it will indeed be worth staying tuned for any developments in this regard. The entertainment industry is known for its unpredictability, and time will reveal the trajectory of Harry and Meghan's collaborations with Netflix. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.